G'day friends, welcome to today's video. It is a very, very quick one. I'm just going to uh, give you a bit of a look at the Mermaid merchandise that we have uh, going into the store tomorrow at, so that's June 23rd. So sorry if you missed this video already, <laughs> uh, but don't worry because this stuff can be restocked. But tomorrow uh, there'll be limited quantities of each of these items going into the store on the Etsy. There'll be a link down below and, um, and it'll be going up at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm kind of favoring the East Coast this time. I usually stagger the releases at different times just to uh, favor different time zones and kind of switch it up a little bit. Um, so this time we're favoring East Coast. So um, hopefully all you East Coasters out there have seen this video before then. Otherwise, um, fear not because I can get this stuff replaced if it should sell out. Now, uh, if you followed me along from Mermaid, you're going to be very familiar with a lot of what I'm showing you. And I did mention that I was merchandising some of the products. So um, today I'm gonna show you some of those things and just have a flip through, explain a bit about why I did what I did. Uh, Cause some of them are a little unusual. <laughs> Not super unusual, but just kind of like, maybe why did he choose that? Um, so let's start with the book. This uh, is actually a page from my off camera journal. Um, meaning that I work in this journal off camera. I don't work on it uh, for anyone to see, but I do show the results of some of the things that I do. So I, um, you can see I photoshopped that out and put the um, Mermaid 2018 results may vary and uh, James Luke Burke Creative. And I, uh, I just made that the front cover. I've, I've lightened it and whitened it so that it wasn't um, super warm and yellow. I wanted it to be quite bright, but um, I thought that was a really nice touch. It was something that wasn't a part of Mermaid, but it was Behind the scenes of Mermaid, whilst I was doing the challenge, I was doing a lot of behind the scenes work, kind of figuring out ideas and testing things and seeing if I wanted to take certain elements into the actual Mermaid pieces themselves. Um, some of those became blooper videos <laughs> and uh, some of them actually worked out. It was pretty fun. So um, this is uh, why I, I kind of included that because I thought it was kind of a nice little memory for me to have of the stuff that I did even behind the scenes whilst this was going on. So this was one of the pieces, a nice paper cutting piece. Um, I'm not going to flip through the whole thing because uh, they are technically just all the things that you've seen in Mermaid already. Um, but this is the, uh, the full page of the Mermaid piece. So this is almost exactly the same size that I drew. It. Uh, some of them might actually be a fraction larger um, and slightly enlarged, but um, all really high quality, really nice. You can see all the mistakes I made. <laughs> um, they've been color corrected for the most vibrant settings on CMYK, so they look really beautiful and I'm super happy with uh, how this came out. It's an uncoated uh, paper, so there's no uh, gloss or sheen on it. And the front cover is actually the same stock, the same weight as the inside cover. So it's all made from the same uh, paper, which makes it quite thin. And uh, the reason I tried that is because I have an A5 journal, this one right here, which is the same size as this book. And I'm actually getting a cover for this. Now, I like to be inspired by things. I know it's gonna sound stupid, but even inspired to recycle and refresh and reuse my own work. and. Uh, I want to put this inside the cover with this journal so that I can have them both at the same time. That way, uh, when I'm working, I can flip to this to either rip something out or pull inspiration from, or I could just work in this journal. You never know, I might want to give these three mustaches or something. So um, I actually wanted to try that just to see um, if I couldn't try start making books that also functioned as inspirational inserts. I know it's a super obscure idea, but you know what? I'll gauge whether people enjoyed it or not, and then we'll move forward from there. Um, but but either way, that's that's where we're going with it. So I'll just show you a bit of a size comparison um, and a bit of quality comparison. This is the original piece and this is the piece in the book. Um, so you can see we've still got lots of that tonal variation. The colors are still there. Um, well, I mean, this is black and white, but um, you know, for all intents and purposes, you are just getting the recreations of every piece that I did through Mermaid. So uh, if you enjoyed that and you want to have a look at it, if you just want a, a book to photocopy and cut up and use as ephemera, um, be my guest. I will not be upset if you even uh, cut up this book. I plan on doing that to mine. Uh, but yeah, it's, I just think it's a really fun thing, a really fun memento to have. I have, uh, because it's staple bound, it's not uh, bound like the other books that I've released in the past. This was a lot more economical to uh, produce, which is why you'll notice a price difference. And the size is also A5, so a lot smaller than I've tried books before, but I'm quite impressed with how it turned out. So this is uh, something that I'm super excited about. Um, something that I think complements the book is uh, the coloring book. Um, now this is 
exactly this, but the coloring book version. So if you uh, had watched Mermaid at all and you thought, why did he choose that? Or I could color that better, or I could have rendered that better. Now's your chance to show me. <laughs> uh, now's your chance to have a go, to get your hands on my work and just to show me where your imagination would have taken it, which is um, always a really fun thing to see. You'll notice the difference in cover stocks here. This is a matte laminated cover stock, which is 300 GSM, I believe 300. Um, either way, it's a thicker uh, cardstock cover than this is. And this is because uh, I didn't believe people would be putting these in with their journals. I thought this would be a nice standalone book to have uh, just out and about with your pencils or your crayons or your markers. Um, so the paper in here is, uh, it's for coloring. You're, you're going to have a great time coloring. It's the same A5. For the pieces that were really hard to translate, uh, say things that didn't have a specific outline, there is a gray dotted line uh, that will instruct you where to take your color to and without the outline because I wanted to retain some of the integrity of the pieces that I drew and how I drew them. Some of them that did translate straight into black and white like this one is directly uh, taken from the mermaid piece and has just been uh, cleaned up a little bit and adjusted black and white uh, properly for the actual book. So some of them will be a, almost a direct replica of what I created. Some of them have been completely redigitized. Like this was completely done again digitally. This was completely done digitally again. Um, this you can see this part has been redone digitally but the background is the original just in a grayscale. And there are a few like that as well. This one here. Uh, because I thought it would be more fun to play with the textures in the background than to uh, just draw those. It was a bit of personal preference on my part. To be honest everyone's going to be a little bit different. Um, but this is a, a direct copy from Mermaid. These have all been redone. Um, it's going to be super fun to go through either way. If you're the type of person that needs to photocopy something and have a couple of options uh, as far as colouring goes, I encourage you to do that. Um, that is originally what my gran used to do with my colouring pages and uh, with my drawings so that she could colour them in 50 million times. <laughs> and, uh, and she was the one that always requested that I do this coloring book, so I have dedicated it to her at the beginning. So um, I hope you have a really great time with this. I love a good coloring book. It's so bizarre to see my own illustrations in a coloring book. Uh, so I'm sure I'm gonna have fun with this. And even if I'm not coloring in, in the book, I still think it's super fun to rip out pieces, uh, photocopy pieces, have collage elements, stuff from my journal. I think it's gonna be a really, really fun thing to have as a little companion for uh, what I'm working on as I continue to work on it. So this is that, and I will leave you with uh, with your thoughts on that. If that coloring is something that you're into, if you're into color therapy, if you have children that might like a coloring book, um, this is a coloring book. <laughs> uh, but I really, really love this. So uh, I'm super excited to release that one too. That's something I get asked about a lot, but I never do. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't say never. I have done them in the past, but prints. Um, I don't like to do prints because there's so many different sizes. There's so many different pieces I could turn into a print, uh, but what I do like to do is postcard prints, something a bit more practical, um, something that has the quality of a print and the durability of a print, uh, but can actually be used and you can put in your journal. Um, they're all a regulation size, so I don't really have to worry about that. Um, so I have chosen five of the images that I liked the best from Mermaid. Um, it was really hard to choose the best. I'm, I'm not going to lie, there were a few that I would have substituted in and out, um, but I just wanted to take into account that uh, a lot of people really wanted to see see this um, ribbon seahorse as a print. Now, personally, I wouldn't have chosen that, uh, but because there was a lot of requests for it, this is one of those rare times where I will actually um, make that accommodation for people. <laughs> uh, so I have included that one. I really, really do love this one here. This one is probably one of my favorites in the whole thing. Uh, this one, because it started, it started it off with a bang, and I really, really just enjoyed that. And uh, all the collage work, which I thought was really fun. Um, but there were other ones that I probably could have done, and and uh, they may come about in the future, in future postcard print packs. Uh, but these will come as a set of five, and every single one of them has the same back, which I specifically designed to reflect the aesthetic of Mermaid, um, which doesn't mean anything at all, <laughs> other than the fact that I, um, I, I formatted this to be a, a custom back, and uh, you created this on the Procreate on my iPad. I love my iPad at the moment. <laughs> it's really getting me, it's really making everything a lot more productive for me, so I'm really into it. And I uh, created this as well, put all the little seaweed details in there, put the little mermaid logo down there. I just had a lot of fun with this. So um, if you're someone that's into prints or you're someone that just loves to send snail mail or you need some uh, little pieces of art to put in your own journals, I'll have this pack of five postcard prints for you. And the last thing that we merchandised for mermaid are these sticker sheets. I have not 
done stickers yet. This is something that's actually completely new for me. <laughs> um, I've tried printing home stickers a lot and I really do enjoy using them in my journals, but actually getting them manufactured, uh, different story obviously, bit of a learning curve there. Uh, but I really do love how these come out. They're glossy. These are A6 sheets. They actually come in a pack of four. Um, and this was completely random as well. I actually had in my, where is it? Here it is. In my uh, sketch planner, I had printed out stickers and I would kind of track my progress through Mermaid with these little stickers and I put them online and uh, someone said, can we get those stickers? And I thought, well, I just printed these from my home printer. They're not the best quality, but you know, they may do for my tracker, but I thought, why not make them a sticker set? So it's actually every piece from Mermaid uh, in these little stickers and the quality is like kind of outstanding when you see how uh, detailed these stickers are and how vibrant the colors are um, and you've got each of them so there's four pages that come in a pack and they're each a6 size with nine photos on each so there are four times nine which is what 36 <laughs> Almost didn't get that right. But there are 36 stickers in the set. Now, as you know, there are only 31 pieces in Mermaid, so there are five here that weren't a part of Mermaid that I specifically designed for these sheets. You can see the cover of the uh, coloring book is there, the cover, the cover of the standard book is there, and we've got three down here, which are the coloring book illustrations with a color-blocked background. I think these are Gorgina, and I cannot wait to explore these a little more. Um, some of them are full bleed, you'll see here. So the, the image, as you peel it off, and they're all, um, they're cut to look like stamps. I should sort of mention that. Um, it even says here, A6 stamp sticker sheet. They're cut to reflect postage stamps. I just thought that was a really cute little cut line, so I chose that. Um, some of them are full bleed. So when you peel it off, I'll just show you here, your image will go all the way to the edge but some of them are not formatted that way so that you do get the whole image. Uh, some of them, obviously, uh, you didn't want to lose some of the, the edge detail. So this one here, if I can get it off, I'm struggling here. So this one here you can see is actually white uh, around the border. So uh, there were mix in there, honestly, uh, anything that it was not uh, for any kind of artistic reason other than some I wanted to make sure that you weren't losing some of the artwork. Like this one, you didn't want to lose the top of her head. So uh, I made it a full bleed because that fit, but other ones just didn't quite work out like that. So um, they're all formatted to fit into these little stamps really nicely. Personally, my favorite is this one. I just love that. <laughs> I don't know why this one is the one that sticks out to me the most. But um, yeah, so these are little vinyl stickers and uh, super great quality. Love that. Haven't done stickers before. Super excited to hear what you think about those. And the last thing I have to show you isn't actually a product, but it's rather something that you get when you do order a product. If, uh, if you were around ordering products a couple of months ago, I had a bunch of these that I was just kind of trialing out. They're just thank you slips uh, that I put in my order to say thank you for your order. And uh, I made two different ones because I thought, you know, I could, so why not? <laughs> um, and I thought it was a nice way to uh, put some of uh, the pictures in your journals if you wanted to cut these up. They actually are formatted to be the same size as a traveler's notebook in insert so you could uh, washi tape the side and essentially just make a new page in your journal possibly paint over the back, put post-its on there, write your own journaling, you don't need to keep the thank you. Um, but I thought that would be a really nice thing to share with people as a thank you for ordering. Now, I uh, was ordering new ones, uh, some, some of these, again, I wanted to reorder these, but I thought, why not make a few more? I had this beautiful photo of this uh, swatched out watercolor that I thought would make a really nice uh, little image to put in my journal, so I thought, Let's make them thank you slips. I'm not gonna show you the back of these because some they're different and I, uh, I'll let you be surprised. <laughs> but uh, so we've got this swatched out watercolor sheet. We have, uh, this is from my off camera journal as well. I'll show you here. This is the same uh, idea as the piece that I did from Mermaid, except uh, all the collage pieces that I used for it were from my trip to Japan last year. So if you followed along with that, you'll recognize a lot of these pieces. And I've just scaled it down a little bit and made one of the thank you slips from that. So if you're interested in getting some of this artwork, I mean, you might just have to order to see which one you get. <laughs> uh, they're like Pokemon, you have to catch them all. But um, I will put these in the orders. This one as well, the, um, the products collage, the art supplies collage. I uh, really, really loved this. I specifically chose to use the hex code for millennial pink because I was just being very basic that day. <laughs> and I used this really light blue, teal, minty color. I really can't tell you exactly what color that is. Um, and a blue for, for this. I think this is very effective. I kind of love it. And I kind of want to put it on the front of one of my traveler's notebooks, um, trying to make that the cover. But 
Really, really love this, and uh, they've all got uh, diff the same words on the back, but there are different images on the back too, so I'll let you be surprised by those, and uh, these will go out with the orders um, from Mermaid. I typically don't, they go out with regular orders as well, but I typically don't put these in, uh, say, like a single washi order, only because they don't fit in the envelope, uh, not because I don't want to give them out, I actually love giving them out, <laughs> um, but they're, uh, they just don't fit in there, so I, uh, I'll only put these in the envelopes that they fit into, and some of them I'll even kind of fold at the top just to make sure I can get them in there. But these are something that is super fun and uh, I can't wait to create more and let me know which ones you get and which ones you're actually after because I might remember your name and I might remember to put that specific one in, maybe. <laughs> well, you could always leave a note on the Etsy conversation, but I maybe, I don't know, it just depends what mood I'm in, I guess. <laughs> Um, I'm super excited to have these out as well. I know it's something that you can't buy, but um, I just wanted to share it with you anyway because I was excited. So we've got those, we've got the thank you slips, we've got the uh, sticker sheets, the four in the pack, we've got the five in the pack postcard prints, we've got the mermaid coloring book and the mermaid actual book. So many great things for you to check out tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, um, which I'm, again, I use for convenience for everyone on my Eastern Standard Time. And we'll just uh, see what happens. If anything should sell out, uh, these can be restocked at very minimal inconvenience to me. <laughs> so uh, they should be back within a few weeks if they do sell out, but we'll just, uh, go from there, I guess, and we'll just see what happens. So I can't wait to uh, release these into the wild tomorrow. Also be on the lookout on YouTube. I have a very big super secret summer project announcement video that will go live. And uh, honestly, truly, probably more excited to see what you have to say about that <laughs> uh, than the launch of all these products. I mean, I do love these. These are great. As with everything, there's nothing in here you can't live a great life without, uh, but they sure do make life more fun. So um, I'll see you tomorrow and uh, I'll be around on social media for all your questions, especially with the uh, big old summer project. <laughs> and um, until then, have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.